Yo, everybody, it's the Game Master 127, and welcome to another uh, Yu Gi Oh! deck profile. Today's deck profile is going to be something kind of simple. Uh, you know, those really terrible products that you can get at stores, you know, called the Power Mystery Boxes? Well, it turns out you can absolutely 100% make a deck out of it. And 40 cards. Uh, I only add, add a couple, which are towards the end. But yeah, it turns out you can absolutely make a deck out of these, and that's one thing. Uh, of everybody who uh, duels against me knows is I can make a deck. I'll buy, you know, maybe it's not uh, the greatest thing in the world, but it's something, so let's get into it. So into the vanillas real quick, which are just terrible. <laughs> they really just need no explanation, except for a couple. Basic Insect, Petite Dragon, uh, Noriko, the Furious Sea King, Terror the ter Terrible, bleh. Lesser Dragon, Trip Rider Beast, and Jerry Beans Man. Yeah, the, these were all in my pack. Um, I'll go over those, uh, like the importance of those in just a second. Uh, the boss monster of this is Ryo Okami, which is a 29 attack monster. That's the only really beast monster I have. The other one is a uh, Schwarzschild uh, Limit Dragon. That's the other one. Uh, this one I originally thought was useless until, uh, I realized something else, and that's Arsenal Bug. Because it says I need, uh, insects to, uh, to make it 2,000. And here's my only insect. So, that's, that's why it's technically viable. So, Arsenal Bug it is. Uh, Berserk, Berserk Gorilla. Enraged Battle Ox. I actually run quite a bit of uh, beast monsters in here, so it's actually pretty good. Great Raptor, Avenge, uh, Vulture. Again, these effects really, it just comes down to it's, they just have 17 attack. Wind Up Juggler is against a 17 attack. Scale Source, 17. Fencing, uh, Fire Ferret, uh, not bad, uh, 17. Uh, Vanguard of the Dragon, uh, it's a dragon. Um, I get kind of lucky with Vanguard. I can make Vanguard pretty strong because I have to, uh, send dragons. And he can't get powered up. I actually do run a couple of dragons. So it's uh, technically, and since it's not a once per turn, with the vanilla's lesser dragon I can pitch, uh, petite dragon I can uh, pitch. Um, I don't know if there's any dragons in here. Oh yeah, the sports one, yeah. So he can, he can be pretty strong by himself. Uh, just wish he wasn't 13 defense. Uh, Dark Crusader, uh, Dark Monsters, actually quite a bit of Dark Monsters in here, so I guess that's okay. Digital Bud, uh, Con Cocoon Denser, it's just a 2,000 defense uh, monster. So, he's basically just the wall of the deck. So that's all the monsters. I believe that was uh, 20 monsters total. Good night. Uh, this I was really surprised to have done is Forbidden Lance, Forbidden Dress, and Forbidden Chalice. Definitely didn't think I would uh, pull that off. But uh, I did, and uh, so all three were in there. Uh, two stamping destructions because I do have quite a bit of dragons in here, so and I didn't have uh, an MST when I got it, so these were the answer to that. Uh, dragons gunfire again. It's um, either for 800 or to target, and again it's dragons. A I believe this is Spanish. Uh, Himotao just to inflict 500 uh, life points because why not? <laughs> Uh, going on to traps, uh, no Raigeki, so Raigeki Bottle, um, Miracle Locust, uh, that actually wasn't too bad, considering that I can give it a thousand attacks, so that's not too bad. Intrigue Shield, also pretty good, uh, Miracle's Wake to kind of make my monsters come back, and Zero Gravity. And that's all the cards that I got out of it, that I can make useful. The ones I did have to add into it are these ones coming up. Uh, only two monsters, and that was Aroma Jar and Hackworm. I figured with uh, Hackworm, you know, jumping to special summon to sacrifice the monsters for Roma Jar because this is literally going to be the wall. So those are those. Uh, the spells I have only five spells, and uh, that's Dark Hole because in case I can't get to Raigeki Puddle, Mystical Space Typhoon because you need Mystical Space Typhoon, Shard of Greed if there's one thing this deck is going to need, just draw power. <laughs> Uh, Pog Duality, again, just a little bit of draw power and kind of put, like, the uh, vanillas away. Uh, enemy Controller, just just in case. And uh, only one trap, and that's a Mirror Force. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a just a real quick 
uh, deck profile based on the pulls I got out of my uh, mystery power box or power mystery box, whatever it was. I wouldn't say it was like the worst thing in the world. Uh, I did get a storming mirror force, which I put in uh, my noble knights because it's noble knights and. Having a Storm Mirror Force for that is awesome, might I add. So, uh, that's about it for me. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And if you guys want to see more of that, make sure you let me know down in the comments section. You're like, Game Master, please do more deck profiles. I really like deck profiles. It's the only thing I watch on your channel. And that's it for me. And I'll see you guys there. Bye.